Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we will see how we can embed a document on a SharePoint page using a web part. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and to demonstrate today's video, I have created a brand new site with the name of File View. Let me open the site in a new tab. Okay, so in the uh, site with the name of File View, if I'll go to the site contents, we have one uh, document library with the name of documents and inside this I have two documents. So basically in my one of the previous video, I have showed you like how we can, you know, show these uh, documents in the web part in the SharePoint homepage. But on this video, we'll see how we can specifically show only a single document on the SharePoint homepage. So now let's uh, understand this video demonstration with an example. So on this site, say for example, there is a specific department and uh, users of those department have access to this site. Now I want those users when they will, you know, try to access this site. And once they will scroll on the homepage of this site, I want a specific document to be displayed over here. Okay, instead of showing the file name, I want the content of that uh, particular document to be displayed on the main home page of the site. So uh, let's see how we can do that uh, using a web part. So first of all, we just we will simply just edit this home page of the site. All right. And uh, we will just you know, we can select this section like uh, in like the section on which we want to display that document, we can choose a two column or a one column. Uh, you know section so i will go with the one section one column all right so once i have selected the new section uh, i will click on this plus to add my web part so previously to embed a document on a home page uh, the web part name was file viewer but uh, now if you will type file that web part name is now changed and it's a file in media web part so i will select this web part all right so it gives us the few options like the recent recent documents on this side i have two documents and then there is also option to you know show the document using the using your onedrive so the files which you have on your onedrive you can also show these files on the web part apart from that the this is my site and as you can see the document library is showing up here so inside this document library there is a documents which i want to show on the web part then you can also upload or you can you know form the link and you can just paste the link of that document which you want to show. So I will go with the site and here, as I've showed you, I have one document library. I will open this and I will pick this document to show up in the web part. And once I will click on select, you can see the entire document is now in the viewer form. Like it's not showing the name, but, uh, but the content which is there inside that document is coming up on this web part. And you can simply just edit this web part and uh, you can also select the pages like if the, in the document you have uh, 10 to 15 pages and the most important page say for example in this document the most important page is in the third number so you can just simply select it to third page like once any user will you know access the site automatically on the display he will first see the third page so if you will select the third and then we can click on apply and then we will just simply republish this page so once a user will access the site so automatically the page third amongst these out of seven will be first displayed to that user. Uh, he can, you know, now navigate to the first, second, third, but once he will, you know, try to access the site on the initially, the third page will be displayed. Similarly, again, if I will edit this uh, web part, I will just delete this. And again, I will add the same web part. Similarly, if I will go to the my OneDrive, if I will pick up any other document, you can, it will show you this message like the, like this items is from your OneDrive site and folders. OneDrive are private unless you share them. Uh, if you share the file with your site members so they can access it. If the user will have the access to doc this document, then only he will be able to see this particular document. So I will click on OK. And as you can see, similarly, we can add the documents from our OneDrive as well. Let me republish. So friends, that's how we can embed a document using a web part in a SharePoint page. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, 
you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.